Welcome everyone. I am so excited to share this with you today. If this 20 foot high entry doesn't give it away, this is a very special property and I'm proud to present this exclusive video. No one else is filming this property. So there is so much to show you. And like I said, this is unlike anything we've ever seen. So right off the bat, this is a massive pivot door. We have 25 foot high ceilings throughout this entire downstairs open area. Again, there is so much to show you. I can't wait, I'm so excited. Okay, first off at this entry, we have a natural stone going all the way up 25 feet high. Just in person, it just gives a little bit of a rich touch. Now the flooring is a 48 inch porcelain tile throughout this entire downstairs, and it looks seamless and sensational. Now, like we normally do, we're gonna show you the kitchen area first and then move our way throughout this property. But real quick, as we came in, it's so important, especially when you're at this level of a property, the relationship between the indoor and outdoor space. Now, as you come in from that front door, look at this. You have a seamless view of the entire Las Vegas Strip. Just these views alone are worth millions of dollars. I'm not even exaggerating. This is unbelievable. And normally, you would not want your family room to be at by the front door or visible to the front door. But in this particular application, this property is so private, no one is coming to your front door unless you grant them gate access. All right, let's check out this kitchen. Okay. First, we're gonna show you this breakfast nook area. It can be a formal dining room. It could also be breakfast nook. Um, again, we still have the 40 inch porcelain floor. Over here, we have the natural stone that we had at the entry. And then throughout this house, you're gonna notice everything is controlled on the control four system throughout. So we have these iPads that are control all the functions such as sound, lighting, even the shades. Um, we do have a slider here that opens to the outdoor area. Today is the first like fantastic day we've had where it's about 85 degrees. This is perfect for indoor outdoor living. It's there's so much to show you. Again, we have a curtain wall here leading to the outdoor kitchen area. Now, this is something that I wanna discuss. We've seen plenty of properties that have two uh, islands, right? Normally, they're run perpendicular, uh, or parallel, I should say. This is perpendicular. Uh, what are your thoughts? Do you like this? I think this works perfectly within the space. But another thing, again, this is an $8 million home, so expectations for this are gonna be substantially higher than anything we've seen before. You know my biggest peeves are when we have custom islands, custom countertops, and they kind of cheat out on the return. This is what I'm talking about. You have a four and a half inch lip here, four and a half inch return, and this just, this just makes this island so much grander. And you can even see inside the way it returns. Just the quality in this property is just on another level. Now when we get to the kitchen island with the sink, We've seen plenty of waterfalls, but I love that this comes around three ways. Um, it, this just looks monolithic in nature. I, I can't say anything more about it. Even the baseboards are porcelain to match the floors. Now, when we come over here, these countertops are different. So these are actually a granite countertop, which normally we don't see anymore. But in this application, it looks fantastic. I don't know about you, but this is sensational to me. This is a massive slab of porcelain for the backsplash, and it just looks so classy, so elegant. I, I absolutely love it. Now, we have a 48 inch Wolf grill top matched with a Wolf 48 inch commercial vent hood. Now, one of the things that we're gonna talk about, uh, Ashley and I were kind of geeking out. The cabinetry is fantastic, it's all custom and they're all self-closing, but this, you can see, there's a little lip where you can reach out and then self-close. My OCD was a little bit off because you can see right here, there's a gap between, this is seamless and there's a gap here. The reason that gap exists is so you can fit your finger in the bottom drawer and you can lift the second drawer from the bottom. So form and function, I love it. Now, uh, we can back up a little bit, sorry, Ashley. We do have a top of the line dishwasher. We do have a matching Wolf appliance. And if you know, I get titillated really easily. I just love this. I just love, oh, the automatic open for your microwave. Maybe I'm a simpleton, probably so, but I think that's cool. All right, now over here, 
Next to the porcelain backsplash, we have our Wolf Espresso Maker. At this level, I would call that standard. We have matching Wolf appliances, so you have your double ovens. Now, Ashley knows what's coming up. <laughs> this is so cool, I love it. I would call this the Scooby-Doo Pantry, because it's hidden. Check this out. All of these are touched to open, but watch this. But that was terrible. All right, check this out. This is the entrance to your pantry. If you don't know, now you know. So, even the pantry that no one is likely to see is elegant and beautiful. You have your granite countertops, you have the custom cabinetry, you even have a porcelain tile backsplash that extends all the way over here. Again, who is in your pantry? No one really except for you, and this is sensational. All right, now we're gonna come out of the Scooby-Doo pantry, and I'll show you a little bit about the rest of the cabinetry. So like I told you, everything is pushed to open. And the veneer on these cabinets are such that it really is pretty good as far as fingerprints. You really don't see the fingerprints as much as you would expect. Of course, we have our obligatory uh, refrigeration unit. So we have our uh, Sub-Zero refrigerator and freezer, very nice. And then over here, we have a climate controlled wine chiller that can hold 90 bottles. Uh, again, very beautiful, very elegant. I love the natural stone uh, that they use for the decorative wall behind it. Coming down this way, this is actually, um, it's just a, it's like a mud deck closet. Very simple, but you'll notice every closet in the entire house is custom and custom cabinetry. So very nice. Over here, this is actually just gonna be the garage. We're not gonna to spend too much time on this one because there's two two-car garages and they're completely identical. So we'll, we'll show you the other one. Uh, in here, we have the powder bathroom. So this is where your guests are gonna use. Don't know if this is gonna show up, but this tile, this 12 by 24 inch tile is awesome. It's almost a little iridescent. It's, it's awesome, very, very cool. So we have our quartz countertops, three inch lip, and different custom cabinetry. Um, all the toilets are colder in the house, top of the line, very, very nice. Okay, now, let's come over to the main part of the house. Because this space, you just have to be within to really appreciate. So again, when I'm standing here, to the left is all this natural light because this is the front door entry. And then over here, I've got all my strip views and we'll get to the slider in a minute. Now, <laughs> this is just next level, guys. This is next level. Okay, so first, let's start at the top. This media wall consists of aluminum panels. So all the panels here are actually aluminum. Very nice. We do have 5.1 surround sound that Basically, this center channel sound bar is your left, center, right. But over here, we do have two channels for your rear, left, and right. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Guys, I mean, who doesn't love a modern fireplace? But seriously, this is so next level, I can't even tell you. These, this custom application for a fireplace, <laughs> we've seen electric fireplaces because that's what everyone is using and you will see some electric fireplaces throughout the rest of the house but this is on another level so this fireplace actually is created with leds and if you see these flames these are not flames this is steam so check this out this is literally just steam coming right up. Um, I was told by the builder that if you let this run for an hour or two, it'll raise the humidity level in this entire house by 15%. Pretty impressive, especially in the dry desert, but man, in person, this is, this is a showstopper. Fantastic. Now again, there's a lot of sliders in this house. This is the only slider that pockets, but we do have a 25 foot slider. And I mean, this is what completely makes this entire house. It's just seamless indoor, outdoor living. And again, the strip views are everything. And as you'll come to see, every single bedroom in this entire home has strip views. So the architectural design is just on another level. All right, now let's head down this way and let's see a little bit more of this wing of the house. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Okay, guys, I'll have to show this to you in B-roll, but because these ceilings are 25 feet high, you can have a chandelier. So right above me is a chandelier deployment as well as at the front entry. 
Now what's so cool about this is this chandelier is automated. So if we come over to this area, you have a special key and then you have controls right here. Now by holding these controls, I'll show you right now, this will actually deploy the actual chandelier to whatever height you want. So you can keep the chandelier 20 feet above, 10 feet above, or you can bring the chandelier eight feet if you want something a little more intimate. I have to say, fantastic. They're about $3,000 just for the equipment and then of course the cost of the installation. Of note, there's three panels that consist of this steam fireplace. Each panel alone for the hardware is about $3,000. That doesn't include all the fabrication and everything else that goes into it. But this is so awesome. All right, uh, now we have another coat closet here and hopefully you can kind of see, I mean, this is top of the line uh, custom cabinetry. Uh, another thing to note, all of these doors are solid core imported Italian wood, including the door frames. Perhaps it doesn't show up on film. We've seen an emulation of this multiple times, but there's simple veneers. The quality here is something that probably won't translate on film. But let's head down this direction. So first, we didn't see that other garage, so let's check out this garage first. All right, so yeah, it's a garage, but we do have a wonderful epoxy floor. Um, you have a utility closet there. We have the new modern garage door openers that are wall mounted. And then because of the proliferation of electric vehicles, we have a NEMA 1450 electric plug here. And then we have another NEMA 1450 electric plug here. So if you have four electric vehicles, all of them can charge built right into the property. Lovely touch and future proofed as well. All right, now down here, this is set up to be an office. So it's not a bedroom, but this is set up to be an office. It's a nice, lovely space. One of the things we didn't discuss is normally your HVAC vents, we're used to the rectangular vents. When you get to a higher level, you get what's called a linear air registers. So if you notice here on the ceiling, that little slit in the ceiling, that is the linear air register. This kind of threw me for a loop. I guess the glass is so clean. It looked almost like a pass-through, but this is just glass. So you have a nice little curtain wall of glass. Um, and of course, this actually has blackout blinds. So it has rails that come down so literally no light can possibly escape through. Very, very neat. All right, now let's head down this hallway. Ashley's trying to pedal backwards without hitting herself. <laughs> All right, now down this hallway, pretty neat. We have the first of two laundry rooms. There's one downstairs, one upstairs. So we have the same that we saw in the other powder bathroom. So we have a three inch lip, quartz countertops. We have a different veneer for the custom cabinetry, very elegant. We even have the porcelain tile backsplash in the laundry room, which is beyond unnecessary, but lovely. And then of course, washer dryer speaks for itself. All right, now coming in this direction, we're doing this one first, right? So this is the movie theater. Absolutely love it. We've seen movie theaters before, but most of the time they're a little bit simpler in nature. This one was done correctly. So all the walls have a textile, so they're more soundproofed. We have a natural quartz countertop, so it's not so shiny and glossy. It's more of a natural kind of aggregate. We have a refrigeration here, and then we actually have a keg cooler. Because the, this home is built, uh, and we don't have a buyer for it yet. This could be drilled for a keg stand. Well, not a keg stand, but a keg spigot for drafts. Um, but right now they didn't want to drill the hole just in case. So that explains that. Um, again, even over here, this window that we have, even in the movie theater, beyond unnecessary, you have those unobstructed strip views. But of course, because it is a movie theater, this does have a blackout shade that's automatically deployed. We do have 12.1 surround sound in this movie theater, uh, highlighted by a 4K Sony projector. Again, 12.1 surround sound. It could be 12.2. It is wired for the other channel subwoofer. And of course the highlight is this exceptional high level 133 inch screen. Um, it, <laughs> let me just tell you, this is nice. This would be the place to be for the Super Bowl or for you know a blockbuster movie. And again, like we discussed earlier, we do have our iPads throughout the entire property for the Control 4 system. 
Now, coming down here, this is really neat. So this is a secondary suite, uh, a mother-in-law suite, if you will. It's right off of the hallway by the garage. So if you do have an elderly parent living with you, they can literally park and walk right into their part of the domicile. You do have a custom closet here. And um, what's really neat is this mother-in-law suite, if you will, this has access to this lovely patio area. Um, again, beautiful tile. There's a little grassy area over here. We'll show you this when we get to the backyard, but this is just fantastic. Again, a little bit of indoor outdoor. Now, um, this is the type of media wall that you normally would see in an actual family room. This is like monolithic in nature. So massive, massive media wall. Obviously you have your pre-wire for your television and mounting bracket. You have your uh, electrical for the plug-in. And then we have one of many Dynasty electric fireplaces. So very premium, very nice, and this one's 72 inch. Again, for a secondary suite, this destroys what you normally even see in primary suites. All right, moving along to the bathroom. Um, a lot of lovely details. So we have the same quartz countertops, I love. We have a different veneer for the custom cabinetry. They are floating. But one of the things that's kind of neat is in this massive mirror, instead of cutting a corner and just using a normal mirror, even this mirror has a beveled edge to it. It just gives it a little bit more refinement. Uh, again, it, the devil's in the details here and the details are just divine. So we have, again, a porcelain tile backsplash that goes all the way up to the ceiling. Uh, Kohler uh, toilet over here. And this shower is fantastic. We're gonna see another one in the primary, but uh, again, we have a porcelain tile. We have our normal shower head, the rainfall shower head, and we have a Moen program. I think I'll talk about this when we get to the primary suite. But this is cool, especially if you're picky about your temperature, uh, if you want the steam, this is 100% the way to go. All right, this pretty much wraps up this part of the area. I'm gonna meet you guys back by the stairs because I wanna show you the staircase for a second, then we'll head upstairs. All right, let's meet up. All right, now I wanted to show you this floating staircase. We've seen a gazillion floating staircases. This is what modern architecture is about. Uh, everyone wants to see this. But again, in the details, this solid core wood uh, is just absolutely fantastic. And it's just really a, a nice accent to the centerpiece of this home. I just wanted you to really kind of take this in. It's just fantastic. All right, we finished the downstairs. I've shown you the staircase. Let's time to go upstairs because I want to show you this landing area. Even the upstairs is fantastic. So meet me upstairs and we'll take it from there. Okay, now we are upstairs and we're at the landing that overlooks the entry and the family room. And again, if this is your property and you're upstairs coming out of the primary suite, this just, you really can feel and survey your land. It's just amazing. So again, over in this direction, we have the 25 foot high ceiling with those unobstructed views of the entire strip. Even cooler, there's a park below the entire property which ensures that nothing will ever be built. So you will have these beautiful unobstructed views basically until infinity. Now over here on this direction, this is the staircase we came up and then this is the entry. Again, that, that relationship between the entry and the strip views, divine. Okay, upstairs, we have a different flooring surface. So we do have an engineered wood. It looks sensational and it's durable as well. Let's check out the primary suite. Okay, as we enter the primary suite, again, we have the control four system panel here. Um, the engineered wood continues to come through here. We have multiple linear air registers for airflow. And then just like we saw in that secondary suite downstairs, we have the Dynasty 72 inch fireplace and this monolithic looking media wall. I mean, doesn't get much better for a primary suite. We do have a slider, and of course, right here, we have two solar shades that are blackouts that'll deploy, so for sleep issues, you have none. We do have a lovely 12 by 24 inch tile out here on the balcony. We even have a hose bib if you want, so you can spray off any dust or debris. But this overlooks the pool area over here and the entire entry. Again, there's only two homes up here, 
that share one private gate. So literally you have one neighbor and that's it. There's an abundance of parking, so if you do have a party, soiree, if you need to park an RV, I mean, you can literally park 40 cars right in the front of this property. And again, I mean, look at these strip views. You are literally looking at the entire Las Vegas Valley from here. Literally, the strip all the way over to the west side of town. I can even see Summerlin. I can damn near see my house from over here. If you're gonna spend $8 million, this is what I would expect, and this is what you're gonna get. Okay, now let's check out this primary bathroom. Now I love the floors. We have a 30 inch by 60 inch porcelain floor, and this is so elegant, so beautiful. One thing that we didn't mention is the drywall. Uh, most of you couldn't even have a thought about drywall. Lord knows I never used to either. This is a grade five drywall. So there's five levels of drywall from your basic drywall all the way to the ultra premium level. So there are literally no imperfections on this entire wall, which is why there's no texture. Throughout this entire property, you do not see one seam, not one imperfection. Every corner is a perfect 90 degree. Again, the quality is what shines in this property that you really can't tell in film. Now we have the floating vanity, we have a different veneer for the custom cabinets, we have undermount sinks, uh, we have marble, not marble, we have granite countertops that this I believe is the same that we had downstairs in the kitchen. And then we have another nice beveled edge mirror and then we have a matching porcelain tile as the floor, although these are smaller. They may have cut, because this looks like 60 inches, but instead of 30, maybe it's a little bit smaller. All right. Let's talk about this. One, this entire shower surround and an area, this is all porcelain tile. In person, it looks sensational. But this right here, oh man. This right here, I absolutely, this, this is just art to me. I love this. So this floating bathtub, the soaking tub, if you will, they had to bring it up on a forklift due to the weight. And then once they were able to get it up here, it took six men just to move this. I asked the builder what it was made of. He wasn't sure. I don't know if it's made out of concrete with a veneer wrapped around it. But again, this is beyond elegant. This is art. This deserves to be in the MoMA. I love this. All right, now let's talk about the shower. Now in the shower, we have a beautiful floor. The, the shower pan floor matches the porcelain tile here. These are like a pentagonal uh, mosaic tile, if you will which is inlaid for the drain, very seamless, even the surround. I mean, again, this is what you would expect for $8 million, but this is a wonderful space. You have your rainfall shower head, your normal shower head, your body washers, your wand, and then you have your mowing. Now this, well, there's no power right now. I should have showed you one downstairs. Now this is awesome. This allows you to dial in your temperature to whatever you want. So if you want it to be 103 degrees, make it 103 degrees. This is also how you're going to control all of the different shower head functions. So consider this an electronic diverter valve. But what's really cool about this is you can connect this to Google and you can connect it to Amazon. So when you wake up in the morning, you can say, hey Google, turn my shower on to 103 degrees. Let it get a little steamy, then take a dip. Now over here, we do have our toilet. The I think literally the singular criticism in this entire house. Normally I have about 10 to 20 of them and I share about five with you so it's not disrespectful. Literally, I only have one and that seems to be this toilet. Most of the properties that we're seeing at this price range are gonna have two toilets and this only has one. Not the biggest deal to me, but I'm just saying at $8 million, you could have thrown another toilet in. But instead of wasting space on the toilet, we have this massive closet. Again, Top of the line uh, cabinetry. This is all the same cabinetry that's basically used throughout the house. And again, it doesn't get any better than this cabinetry. Sensational. All right, we've seen the primary. Let's head over to the secondary suites. And this will give you a better vantage point on that landing area that we were starting off at earlier. Love the cool art. And here we are on the landing area. So maybe this gives you a sense of depth and size, but especially on a day like today, this just feels so wonderful. I love it. Okay, coming down here, there's a couple, there's, well, there's one really cool thing. 
So inside this cabinet, if you can see this right here, I was wondering what the hell is this thing? So because the property is so private and because that front entrance is again, so private, there is a fire hydrant hookup in the front of the property, but if there is a fire and they need to access the front of the home instead of the back of the home, there literally is a fire hose hookup inside the property right here. So if something does happen, God forbid, they'll, the fire department will plug their hoses in right here and knock it right out. I cannot say that I have seen that ever in a property, or at least that I knew of. All right, let's come in this laundry room. So it's a beautiful laundry room. It's not super exciting, but we have the same veneers that we saw in the other laundry room, three inch lip, quartz countertops. We got a nice little view of the front of the home. And of course we have our washer and dryer, plenty of space, very nice. What else can I say? All right, let's head over this direction. I guess uh, let's hit this one. All right, so over here we have another secondary bedroom. Pretty simple. Um, you'll notice that we do have a sprinkler system over here and here. Due to the size of the property, it's almost like commercial. So it's a requirement that it does have a sprinkler system. So you'd have to have one hell of a fire to for these to deploy and then to use that hose. But over here, we have again, the obligatory hookup for your flat screen, electricity. Uh, we have the same closets that we've seen before. We have a lovely tile in here. We have the same quartz countertops we've seen, floating vanity, a lovely, lovely shower. This one's more basic because again, this is a secondary suite. So we don't have the Moen electronic diverter. But like I told you earlier, how cool every single bedroom in this entire house has strip views, even this corner one. So we do have a hose bib here. You got a little hose bib here. So if you want to keep your, keep your area clean, you can even see a little bit of dust. You know, we're in the desert, so you're going to get wind, you're going to get dust, but you can hose it right off. And this overlooks again, the entire strip. And we're overlooking the mother-in-law suite below us that had that little deck. Very cool. The next secondary suite's even cooler. So coming out here, you know, this is like our loft landing area. Maybe if you have children, you can keep the kids toys up here out of sight. So the last secondary suite, here we go. It's a larger bedroom. We have surround sound speakers throughout the entire house. So there's two in here, but again, look at this balcony. This balcony is about three times the size. We have a dual slider that deploys open. We have it open today because the weather's so nice. Up here, we have the solar shades that'll deploy and black out completely. And then we have a massive balcony and this balcony is right over the pool. You're looking down at your neighbors. And of course we have unparalleled uh, strip views. All right, I think that pretty much wraps up the entire upstairs. So we've seen the inside of the home. Let's go right back downstairs into the family room and I'll walk you outside so we can finish this up and see the outside of the property. Hello friends, come outside with me, check this out. All right, now, this is the outdoor space that we've been alluding to throughout this entire video. Now, first off, the tile is imported Italian tile that's one inch thick. Very, very durable, very impressive. Obviously, I was sitting right in front of the fire pit. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, first, obviously, we have the strip views over here, but I want to take you around to the outdoor kitchen area. So we have a lovely little space here for the chaise lounges. Over here, this was the breakfast nook formal dining space that leads right out to this area. Of course, we have the official dining space and that's flanked by the outdoor kitchen island. So we've got a 48 inch grill, we've got burners, refrigeration, your trash can. We even have um, granite countertops. So just a nice little intimate area over there. Now let's head back over this direction. One of the things you'll notice, I haven't actually counted, but we've got about 10 speakers. So all of these modules, these are actually speakers. And this is actually, this mushroom is actually a subwoofer. So when this fires up, you're gonna be bumping. All right, now we've seen this many, 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 many times. Uh, the Infinity Edge Jacuzzi, four sides, Infinity Edge. We, I call it the Quattro Infinity. Completely felonious, totally made that up, but we're gonna keep running it. Now, um, the pool, lovely. 
This is about the maximum capacity that you can build a pool right now due to the water restrictions. But it is a Pebble Tech. We are looking at the Baja shelf right now, so you can put your chaise lounges in here, get your back a little soaked. And it does have the bubblers. Of course, it's a self-cleaning pool, as you would expect. Um, just so you know, if you ever see these by a pool, this is actually the gear system for the bubblers. They go in zones to push all the dust and debris. So this oscillates from one zone to another. Moving over this direction, the tile is seamless as we come over. Over this direction right here, this was the mother-in-law suite that we showed you from downstairs with the media wall. And this would be the private sitting area coming outside of there. Now we have top of the line synthetic lawn over here. We have this nice row of trees. So if you do have pets, this is where they can come do their business. Sensational. All right, we have finished the outside. So let's go ahead and wrap this one up. So meet me over there. Hi right, guys, tell me, what did you think about this property? I have to say of all the homes that we filmed, this is by far my absolute favorite property. But I wanna hear from your comments. What did you think? Is this property worth $8 million? at over 7,000 square feet for a car garage and these strip views behind me. Is it worth the money to you? I have to say of all the properties I've seen, this makes a very compelling argument. Well guys, please stay tuned because we have so many more property tours just like this exclusive one. Big special thanks to Andre and his partner who built this property. I wish them the best of luck because this truly is sensational. Again, click to subscribe, like the video, please share with all of your friends and colleagues, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces.